This idea was shared by Sam Brooks and Lansky. Uh, so Lansky is a really good friend and he just introduced me to the amazing Sam. And Sam knows how to run effective meetings. And I know a lot of us have sat in different meetings that might have seemed pointless or very unorganized when it is facilitated. And so Sam has this outline that he learned from a company. I can't remember the company, so I'll need to figure it out. Um, but his agenda is down here. And then, of course, I had to add some color and uh, some tables. And so with his agenda, there's always a meeting purpose. So over here are the meeting types. So you'll just kind of put the purpose here and then the type of meeting, you can type it. Um, you could also use this little key to kind of show that, hey, today is a status meeting or today's a debrief or a strategy meeting. And you can kind of see what the focus is and for that type of meeting. So that way people are coming with the right mindset of like, OK, this is just a brainstorming session or, hey, this meeting, we're going to reflect on something that already occurred. Um, so that way um, individuals are kind of in the right mindset. After that, um, you're going to want to decide who's leading the meeting, who is the note taker and the timekeeper. Um, all of these roles are very, very important, and especially for the note keeper, because they can kind of also send like a follow up email for those that were not able to attend, but also for those that were that says something along like the lines. Also, it just makes it easier for people to have the links accessible to them. So anytime there's any uh, important items like meeting dates or information, you can put that here. And then like if there's any documents that people might need, it can just, again, be easier for them to just click instead of having to search their drive. Just saving some of those precious minutes uh, during a men meeting and can kind of help because a lot of people are getting a lot of different documents shared with them. And so having it all in this like one area can just, again, help you um, when you're leading a meeting. Then there's a check-in. So a check-in could be what's your favorite candy. A check-in could be uh, what's your favorite animal. And people should be able to answer that check-in within 30 seconds or less. This gives everybody an opportunity to just kind of talk real quick. Um, and then you kind of are able to see who was in attendance as well. So they'll put their name, their answer, and then they'll just quickly share uh, 30 seconds or less their answer. The next slide you will duplicate for as many agenda items as there are. So this is kind of where people are able to come in and fill this out. They're going to decide how much minutes um, will be needed for their topic or their concern. And so maybe it's 15 minutes, maybe it's a five minute conversation. They're going to put that in here. Then you're going to put who is speaking and then they can add any notes or um, bullets. So if they have anything that they want to add, they can type that right in here um, or any links or anything like that. And so this is the person that is having the concern or wants to be on the agenda to make an announcement or something. That person will fill out this top part. The timekeeper will need to ensure that if this person says 15 minutes, they're going to set a timer for 15 minutes. And if that person goes over, they're going to cut them off and tell them, okay, at the next meeting, we will discuss more or whatever needs to happen. As that person is talking, down here where it says keynotes, this is where um, the note keeper, so whoever the note keeper is, is going to just jot down three headings. What's the three most important points that that person made um, during their conversation or during their time? And then what was the decision that was made and is there any action items? Um, so maybe an action item is, okay, there was um, someone not at the meeting that we need to get involved. We need to create a professional development slide deck. We need to do this. And then you will actually kind of name out who's going to do that and everything right there. And then again, that decision, maybe it's just like a yes or no or waiting for approval or um, whatever, uh, you're able to put that decision there. But again, you'll duplicate this slide as many times as you need for um, all of those different people involved with this conversation. And again, it kind of makes it easy for those that weren't at the meeting or if they need a recap to say, okay, no, this was the decision, like, or there was an action item, because I think sometimes people zone out or they multitask and then they hear one thing, but it's not communicated. So this kind of allows for that common communication to take place. 
And then from here, you're going to write out all of the different uh, decisions that were made. So like decision number one, maybe decision number two, three, and so on. Um, so that way, again, it's just kind of summarized for people to kind of see, okay, what was, what was the next steps? What's the decision that's happening? And then again, a checkout, everybody's going to answer 30 seconds or less, maybe something that they share that they've learned uh, during their time together or something maybe they're grateful for. So their name goes here and then their answer goes here. Share 30 second. Maybe there's another meeting. Um, so based on the meeting types, maybe in next time it's a check-in meeting. So we need to check in to see those action items or um, what's the next steps. So you'll put the date here and then somebody will add that to the calendar. Make sure everybody's invited that needs to be there. Now for follow up. Um, so that is kind of just like a generic agenda that they use. And then with the follow up piece, what happens is, again, very similar to that first kind of meeting. OK, so now it might be a check in. OK, so before, you know, we were we were kind of being very uh, strategic and we were trying to focus on long term strategy, maybe and brainstorming where now we're ready to kind of follow up and maybe it's a check in to see how people met their action items. So again, meeting purpose, the type of meeting, who's in who's leading the meeting, the note taker and the timekeeper. Again, any links that you might need. And I would probably um, either duplicate these and have them separate. I don't know yet. I haven't really decided that yet. And then right here, check in again, favorite animal, favorite candy, favorite color, whatever you want to do, 30 seconds or less. And then um, section one is the decisions. So these were the tasks that were to be completed from the previous meeting. Um, you need to have an owner who's going to own that document, who's going to own. And that doesn't mean that they're doing the project. It means that they're maybe organizing the collaboration. They are doing whatever. And then um, a date for when it will be completed by. Okay, so again, what, who, and then date of when that's going to be completed by end of quarter two uh, next week. And then section two is the action steps. So what's the next steps? You're going to kind of list out based on those decisions. We're going to create a presentation. We're going to meet and um, discuss. We're going to co-teach with these teachers. And then who is the owner? And has it been completed? Yes or no? Um, maybe it's even communicating to staff next steps. So again, owner and then is it done yes or no and then you're able to highlight decisions again uh, were there any new decisions that were kind of made um, based on the conversation and the action steps that are about to take place and then finally that checkout so again uh, what's the takeaway that you learned from the meeting today 30 seconds or less name answer and then is there another meeting that needs to take place if so when and then add that to the google calendar so again, I just love this agenda. I feel like it's really focused and easy to follow um, when they are working with different people. And again, meetings are very precious. They realize that they were wasting a lot of time, like nine hours uh, with just three meetings were wasted because there was no decisions made. There were no follow-ups and that kind of stuff, um, which can leave people really frustrated because I think people do want to help and do the best that they can. But sometimes when there are no follow-up or action steps, it can get really frustrating. Uh, so check out the agenda. And again, I would love to hear your feedback.